Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for 18,000 subscribers. You guys are the realest. We're very, very appreciative. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything else that you guys do. If there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it for you guys. And a big shout out to the people that continuously suggest things to react to time and time after again, day after day. You guys are the best. You keep this channel going. Um... So today I'm going to be reacting to a Chinese as why does not Allah show himself in Islam so by Dr. Zaki Naid. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. RK53, Communication Engineering. Actually, uh, this is my uh, question from my friends, a non-Muslim. Uh, uh, she asked me this question, but I cannot answer it. <laughs> okay, uh, question is, why uh, Allah... Uh, our God not show itself like another region God like uh, she's uh, God uh, she is a uh, Chinese uh, she know the physical of their gods and she's know about the power of their gods so why uh, Allah not show itself thank you you the question that one of his non-Muslim friends, she asked him the question that why doesn't Allah, the God in Islam, show himself? Like in other religions, they can see God. Why don't you? Why can't we see the God of Allah in Islam? The reason, in, the reason is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Islam is the true Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he shows himself, you will not be able to live. He's so powerful. And the example we have in the Quran in Surah Taha, then Musa alayhi salam says, Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want to see you. So Allah says, I will show my glimpse to the mountain. You look what happens to the mountain. So when Musa alayhi salam turns his head to the mountain, Allah shows his glimpse to the mountain and Musa alayhi salam faints. That is the power of Allah. He's so powerful that we human beings in this stage, we cannot see him. And the definition of Allah is given in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allahu ahad. Say it Allah one and only. Allah samad. Allah the absolute eternal. Lam yulad wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufuan ad. There is nothing like him in this world. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he's not God. So any other religious people say this is God, the moment you can compare God, to anything in this world, he is not a true God. This is a four line definition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God. Any human being, whichever God he or she worships, if that God fulfills this four line definition, we agree that entity to be true God. Otherwise, it's not a true God. Say he's Allah one and only. Allah the absolute and eternal. He begets not nor is he begotten. And let me ask you a question. Which is the highest reward that you can think you can get, brother? Where's the questioner? Where's the questioner gone? Can you stand, brother? Yes, correct, yes. I'm right. You are, I'm right. Brother, which is the highest reward you can get? Highest reward that a Muslim can get? Jannah. Right? Is there anything higher than Jannah? No. Yes? Someone said yes? Yes? Is there anything higher than Jannah? I think there was hadith that... Just tell the answer. No. Is there anything higher than Jannah? Yes. So tell. What is it? Uh, Say Allah uh, the Jannah. Higher than Jannah is Jannah Firdos. Higher than Jannah Firdos is Jannah Firdos al Allah. And the highest is seeing the face of Allah, the Vaj of Allah. We as human beings cannot see the Vaj, the face of Allah in this form. But when we go to Jannah, 
everyone in Jannah will not see the face of Allah. Only those who are in Jannah Firdos or Jannah Firdos or Allah, close to the Prophet, Allah will not show his face always. We would urge, we would desire to see his face. So the highest reward that any Muslim or any human being can get, Jannah is a high reward but not the highest. Jannah Firdos is high but not highest. It is seeing the face of Allah, the Waj of Allah. So tell your non-Muslim friend that if they follow the criteria of Surah Al-Asr, have Iman, have righteous deed, exhort people to truth, exhort people to perseverance, she will go to Jannah, inshallah. But she has to follow the rules of the Quran. And if she goes to Quran, if she goes to the higher level of Jannah, if she enters, she'll be able to see the face of Jannah. Eh, will be able to see the face of Allah. Every human being will not see only those who receive the highest award in the next life, in the year after. Hope that answers the question, brother. Brother, do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Ah, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. We pray to Allah that may put all of us in Jannah, in Jannah the Firdos, in Jannah the Firdos al Allah, and we see the face of Allah, Inshallah. A lot of people are interested in seeing the face of um, God. Uh, I'm just thinking, imagine if God was like, maybe this laptop I'm holding in my hands. Don't you think we're still going to want a better God in terms of laptop? This is just an example, by the way, in terms of objects, since others pray to objects. Because there's better laptop than this one that I'm holding in my hands. There's better, and they'll be better than the next one that you think is better. So I really just don't, I feel like that would cause so much um, confusion for us, so much confusion around us. And I think that can lead us a stretch some extent, which is the same thing about um, Jesus being God. That's very, um, what can I say? I've forgotten the way that I'm saying, which doesn't make sense for God to actually be human. Because someone is going to think, why wasn't Jesus tall, dark, um, broad, shoulders, strong muscles, all that, because people are still going to compare no matter what. And at the end of the day, you have to know that you can't compare God to anything. You can't compare God to anyone. Not objects, not laptops, not people, no one. Because God is just above everything, each and everything that's in this world. Otherwise, let me know what you guys actually think. I've actually, I actually think I've reacted to this video before, but someone suggested it. I'm not sure who, but yeah. So I don't know if it has a different title, but here we are reacting to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.